Hello everybody. It's been quite a while since I've been able to do a video. Everything's fine here. We've just been real busy. I've been sick on and off over the winter with just about every cold or flu bug passing by. But I'm feeling a lot better now and the snow is finally gone. Even though it snowed just a couple days ago, <laughs> it melted. Um, so I thought I would just do a quick little update in the garden. Uh, we're just starting to get things going here. Our comfrey's starting to come up, as you can see. It's spreading around and doing really well. You can see all the rows of green here. This is all the garlic that we planted last year, but then we couldn't harvest it because we had so much rain last year. If you remember, our garden flooded like at least four times throughout the summer. The bulbs, they didn't develop very well. They were very, very tiny and soft. So for the second year in a row, we had to just leave them. So they're coming up like crazy. And I've transplanted some into my raised beds. Transplanted these yesterday. And these ones I'm going to save. I'm hoping they'll do better in the looser soil up here and better drainage. And the rest I'm going to move into some of the flower beds and I'm going to save some to plant around the squash. Hopefully that'll help with the squash bugs. And farther down here, I just planted our Spanish onions today. It takes us about halfway down the bed. You can see we took the trellis off. I found last year it was too hard to weed these beds with the trellis on the back um, because they're three, they're three feet wide so it was just too hard to reach the very back. Um, ideally the trellis should go down the center that would make it easier but that's kind of in the way for what I want to do with these ones. So what we're going to do since it was too short for our peas anyway, we're going to put in a, a longer trellis going straight across the garden here. We're using stronger posts and I'm going to reuse the chicken wire but double it for height. So it'll be about five to six feet tall and that should be plenty for our peas because they really, these peas last year they grew up the trellis and all the way down the back end but because they rubbed along the wire on the top the vines kept breaking and the plant would die. So I'm hoping by making it twice as tall, that'll solve that problem, give them lots of support. Now, just starting to get things going here in the greenhouse. I did some planting today and then on Saturday. Let's see, up here we'll start. I just planted these ones, half a flat of celery and half a flat of cabbage. This is the Danish ball head. That's either the late or the early cabbage. I can't remember. I have to check. And let's see. What's this one a mixture of? I think this is, ah, this is all my herbs. I have sage, parsley, thyme, and rosemary, and catnip in this one. Nothing coming up in here. Like I said, I just planted them. Soon, I hope. We did a flat of broccoli. This is a heirloom broccoli. And last year I direct seeded it in the garden, but it never came up. So I'm going to go back to starting them in here and hopefully have better luck with it. Over here we've got Golden Queen tomatoes, lettuce, just a few to give me an early start, uh, and the rest of this flat is basil. Over here we've got our late red cabbage, and Again, this is the this is golden acre cabbage. I'll have to check. That's probably the early one. I'm not sure. Um, down here we've got our Henderson pink tomatoes, Bonnie Best tomato, Sweetie Cherry tomatoes. Those are uh, cherry red cherries, and behind them the egg yolk tomatoes. Those are a heirloom yellow cherry tomato, and the chocolate cherry tomatoes, and a lemon ox heart tomato. And this one is our flat of our Heinz Paste tomatoes. They, doesn't matter what the weather is, they've always done well for us. And over here, I'm trying ground cherries this year. I bought the seed last year, but then I forgot to plant them. <laughs> that or I ran out of room in the greenhouse, I'm not sure which. So I want to try these this year. If anybody's made uh, jams or jellies or pies or anything out of these, I would love to hear from you what you thought that tasted like because um, I haven't grown them yet. I'm hoping that they will do well for us. This other one over here is half the sunberries, 
which are also called wonderberries. They did pretty good for us last year, but I planted them in a shady place. And with all the rain we got, I'm, I'm giving them another try. And then the other half is eggplant. And these little pots over here are my California Wonder Bell Peppers. I've never had luck growing bell peppers in the garden. I try them almost every year, and I sometimes the plants do well, but I never get any peppers. So what I'm doing this year, I'm not going to grow tomatoes in the greenhouse over the summer. I'm just going to grow them out in the main garden. I find that by the time we can empty the flats out of here to have room to plant into the soil in the greenhouse, it is later, it's too, like it's too late to start the tomatoes in here, and they do worse than the plants in the, in the main garden. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to grow peppers in here on the ground, and then on our beams up on the roof, I'm going to put in some hooks, and I'm going to try growing two hanging baskets with uh, Greenhouse, to make, or greenhouse cucumbers in them and I'm hoping that that will give us some early cucumbers for slicing and hopefully we'll finally get some bell peppers that would be wonderful we really like those and they're expensive um, the hot peppers and whatnot will probably go out in the main garden because they tend to do really well out there I don't know why the bell peppers are so picky but just haven't had luck with them not sure if I showed this last year or not. This is the arbor we built for the grapes. It attaches to the greenhouse on the one side and then makes an archway going into the raised beds. And there's a grape planted over on this side for training up. And there's one on this side. And I don't know if the camera can see it or not, but they're just starting to bud. So I'm really happy that they survived. And hopefully they'll do great this year. Down this middle part of the garden bed, I've got spinach planted from this end to right here where the stick is. I pretty much doubled the area of spinach we planted last year because we found we liked it so much. We were using it as a lettuce substitute in our real main salads, Caesar salads. Um, really happy with it. So this year I'm thinking I've got onions and garlic through half of this raised bed over there. I haven't decided what I'm putting in the rest of it here. But I'm going to do my beans along the back again. And then I'm going to go back to putting the carrots along this side. I might put my beets in over in this section. I'm not sure yet. Still got a little bit of time to think about it. And hopefully the snow won't come back. Well, I guess that's it for now, guys. Hopefully we'll be able to do more garden videos soon, as long as the weather cooperates. Take care.